I think I used three colors to do this. So we've been doing some preparation work over the last week or so, talking about slope and intercepts to get ready to look at the three linear equations that are really a huge part of um, algebra. All three of these forms, it's like writing the same thing in a different way. This one is the most common one. Slope-intercept form is something you guys probably experienced last year with Miss Solomon. I'd like you to open it up, and on the left side, using one color, we're going to put that the variable for slope is m. And this is where it goes in the equation. y equals mx. Using a different color, we're going to put that b is equal to the y-intercept. And the plus b goes here. If you have this equation, you can graph a line. And we will be practicing that in a little bit. The second most common is called point slope, uh, not most common, this is probably the third of the three of them. This is the least common. And it's the one that looks the most confusing. So point slope form, go ahead and open up that flap. <coughs> Find the same color you used for slope in the first one because we still have the M here. And it goes right here. Now this is called point slope form because the things that you get to put this equation together is one point on the graph, like an XY pair, and what the slope is. And I'm going to do this in the same color. So here's your point. You get an x, and we call this x sub 1. That's a little um, 1 there next to the comma. And y sub 1, <coughs> it's a point on the line. The y minus gets this y sub 1. And I'll give you guys an example in just a minute. And then the x goes together. So you put the other x here. And everything that I'm putting in color in these equations is a constant. It's some number that's part of it. You're not putting in y sub 1. You're putting in whatever the y is on the line. So for example, if I give you <clears throat> that slope is 4 and the xy pair is 2 comma 3, we would rewrite this as y minus the 3 is in the y place in the xy pair is equal to the slope times x minus this is in the x pot in the, the point, this point form, or the point pair, and I put the two there. So when we're working on problems like this in your textbook, it will say, if you've got a line that has a slope of this and an xy pair that is this, you would set it up this way. It doesn't look like it, but this is a, the same line. Actually, it may not be. It's probably really close to it. So again, when we're using these that I'm putting in in color, those are going to end up being some number in the problem. In this case, the y-intercept would be at negative 5 and the slope would be a positive 4. So you would put the negative 5 on the graph, which again, we'll be practicing this in a minute, and then you would count up 4, 
for your rise and one for one. And that's how you get your line. Okay. And the last one is standard form. It's my second favorite. You do get favorites with these. Standard form is AX plus BY is equal to C. A, B, and C are integers. You won't find decimals with these. They'll be integers. And here's a hint for the future that I want you to just tuck into this foldable. Hint for the future. A good practice. A should be positive. It makes it easier to work with this equation. If it's not positive, you can multiply or divide the whole equation by negative one. So in our example, this would be 4x plus y is equal to negative 5. There's nothing in front of it, so what's the b here? An invisible 1. So now we're going to do a little bit of practice with each of those forms. Go ahead and get this foldable next. 